I, John Dutton, do solemnly swear. Yellowstone's fifth season, part two, is set to premiere in November 2024, marking the end of the beloved series. Fans have been captivated by Taylor Sheridan's modern western, making it a hit for the Paramount Plus streaming service. The show's popularity led to spin-offs like 1883 and 1923, set before Yellowstone, and the upcoming series 6666 about the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas. Despite these new additions to Sheridan's Western world, the announcement of Yellowstone's final season has surprised many viewers. At the end of Yellowstone Season 5 Part 1, the Dutton family faces serious threats. Rip and other ranch workers head to the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas to protect their cattle, leaving Case in charge. Meanwhile, Jamie gains leverage over Beth by threatening to expose John's involvement in murders. Jamie teams up with Sarah Atwood to hire assassins, setting the stage for a dramatic confrontation in the final part of Season 5. The upcoming episodes promise to be the most intense and surprising yet. Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 is heading towards the series finale. Beth's reaction to discovering the train station prompts her to suggest to John that they should consider taking action against Jamie. Meanwhile, Jamie is collaborating with Sarah Atwood to advance their own agenda. This season might witness the Dutton family confronting challenges without Rip's presence for the first time as he leads the ranch hands on a mission to Texas, potentially linking the main series with the forthcoming 6666 spin-off. As Jamie's efforts to impeach John create uncertainty for the governor, John's conservation easement plan for the ranch faces a threat from Jamie and Sarah's ambitions to commercialize the land. The involvement of Broken Rock representatives, including Chief Thomas Rainwater, Moe, and Angela Blue Thunder, adds complexity, especially regarding the potential impact on federal plans to run a pipeline through the reservation. This scenario sets the stage for a dramatic finale to Yellowstone, where the conflicts are likely to result in significant casualties by the conclusion of Season 5 Part 2. Before production resumed for Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2, there were significant delays. Reports indicated tensions between Kevin Costner, who plays a lead role, and the show's creator, Taylor Sheridan. Costner's involvement in directing another project, Horizon, an American saga, also caused scheduling conflicts for the final episodes. Eventually, it was confirmed that Costner would depart from the series after Season 5. Shortly after this announcement, it was revealed that Yellowstone would conclude with Season 5. However, plans for a sequel series featuring Matthew McConaughey were already underway, alongside several other spin-offs set within the same universe. On the other hand, according to a report from the Hollywood Insider newsletter Puck in early February, Negotiations are underway for Yellowstone stars Kelly Riley as Beth Dutton, Cole Hauser as Rip Wheeler, and Luke Grimes as Case Dutton to join the upcoming follow-up series to Yellowstone. While it was known that some Yellowstone actors were being considered for roles in the new series, this is the first time specific names have been mentioned. However, whether these actors will be part of the new series hinges on Paramount Plus being willing to meet their salary demands. Reportedly, Riley and Hauser are requesting salaries around $1.2 million per episode. Riley initially asked for $1.5 million, a significant increase from their Yellowstone pay, while Grimes is seeking a lower figure. Paramount now faces a crucial decision regarding casting and budget for the new series. The upcoming Yellowstone sequel is also actively seeking a female lead, with Michelle Pfeiffer's name being mentioned in discussions. According to reports from Puck, negotiations between Pfeiffer and the production team are nearing completion, and an official announcement may be forthcoming. Filming for the sequel is planned for the spring and summer. Meanwhile, while Matthew McConaughey has been linked to a potential leading role, it's reported that his involvement is not yet confirmed, as he is still waiting for a finalized script. As all of you are aware, Yellowstone is concluding with Season 5. The decision to end the show followed speculation about whether Kevin Costner would continue his role for the remainder of the season. 
Initially, reports suggested Costner would depart after season 5, but it's still uncertain how much he'll be involved in the final episodes. However, in a revealing interview with The Hollywood Reporter in June, Taylor Sheridan, the show's creator, emphasized that his planned ending for the series is still on track. Additionally, ongoing discussions are reportedly taking place with Costner's team to potentially film additional scenes to provide closure for his character. I'm disappointed, Sheridan said in the interview. It truncates the closure of his character. It doesn't alter it, but it truncates it. Despite Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2 initially being planned for only six episodes, it may now expand depending on the needs of the story. Taylor Sheridan, the show's creator, mentioned to The Hollywood Reporter that Paramount Network is flexible and willing to provide more episodes if necessary to properly conclude the series. Additionally, Paramount has announced a new spin-off called 2024, which may be the highly anticipated follow-up to Yellowstone, starring Matthew McConaughey. Sheridan hinted that this spin-off could take place in a different location from the original series. There are lots of places where a way of life that existed for 150 years is slamming against a new way of life, but the challenges are completely different, Sheridan told THR. There are a lot of places you can tell this story. Taylor Sheridan, the creator of Yellowstone, had expressed interest in telling stories set on the 6666 Ranch, a real-life North Texas ranch that played a role in Yellowstone's narrative and which Sheridan now owns. However, production on the spin-off series has been paused. Sheridan wants to dedicate more time to it because he has a personal connection to the ranch and has witnessed its rich history firsthand. As the final episodes of Yellowstone approach, it remains uncertain whether Kevin Costner will appear. However, Season 5 has introduced both familiar and new characters to the ranch. Josh Lucas reprised his role as young John Dutton for the first time since Season 3, while Kylie Rogers portrayed young Beth and Kyle Red Silverstein played young Rip. Jackie Weaver returned as Market Equity CEO Caroline Warner, the latest adversary for the Duttons, with Mo Brings Plenty and Wendy Moniz, now series regulars, as Thomas Rainwater's right-hand man Mo and Lionel Perry, formerly the governor and now a senator. Yellowstone has introduced four new characters to its roster. Kai Caster portrays Rowdy, a young cowboy. Lainey Wilson plays Abby, a musician. Lily Kai takes on the role of Clara Brewer, Governor Dutton's new assistant, and Don Olivieri, known from 1883, joins as Sarah Atwood, described as a corporate figure intertwined with Jamie. Additionally, the bunkhouse regulars return, including 4EJ Smith, Denim Richards, Ian Bowen, Ryan Bingham, and Jen Landon, who has been promoted to series regular, reprising her role as Teeter. In the lead-up to the season premiere, Catherine Kelly, known for her role as Emily, Jimmy's fiancé, was announced as a series regular alongside Jefferson White, who plays Jimmy. Although they've only made appearances in the mid-season finale, they're depicted happily residing and working at the Four Sixes Ranch in Texas. Furthermore, viewers can anticipate more screen time for Orly Gottesman as Hallie, a confident young woman attracted to Carter. Thus far, her character has been glimpsed at the county fair and briefly in the mid-season finale. Haley's role in Season 5 is described as transformative for Carter as she helps him break out of his shell and learn about himself. Their dynamic is portrayed as significant, with Haley becoming a supportive presence in Carter's life. Paramount released a teaser for the second half of the season, but it didn't include any new footage because filming for the upcoming episodes hadn't begun yet. Piper Parabo shared in an interview with TV Guide in mid-December 2022 that she was unaware of what would happen beyond Season 8. Well, that's it for today. As we eagerly await the premiere of Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2, there's so much anticipation surrounding the fate of the Dutton family and the exciting developments in store for the series. Will Kevin Costner's character make a significant appearance in the final episodes? How will the new characters and ongoing storylines unfold? Stay tuned for more updates, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for all the latest Yellowstone news.